Chef Mommy in a house. Chef Mommy in a house. Chef Mommy in a house. She's the Chef Mommy. Chef Mommy in the house. Hey everybody, it's me, Chef Mommy, and today I have a very special, spectacular guest with me in the house. I want everybody to give it up for my sister. She is the most extraordinary teacher that I've ever met, and I'm not just saying this because she is my sister, but maybe I'm just a little bit biased, but her name is none other than... <laughs> Ebony! <laughs> I'm so excited to be here, I really am, I really am. I watch you all the time. No, she I was in, in my classroom, <laughs> my students, and they said, Miss Holland, why aren't you on the chef line? I said, Social studies, and I teach sixth, seventh, and eighth grade middle school social studies. Shout out to thanks for what you do, Ev. Shout out to all the teachers out there who are working hard with our kids in schools and sacrificing every day. And I know you're happy it's summer. I'm happy it's summer, and I'm happy to be here. And I we just came from the pool, so give me an apron so I can put. Yes, she's got on a swimsuit <laughs> and a cover up. So and um. I see ginger, I see carrots, I see a lot of things that oh, that's gonna make a great meal. So let's get started. Yeah, we're gonna do something Asian inspired. Um, recently I went to Thailand and guess who came over here to watch my kids? I did. Ebony and my other sister Karima came all the way to keep our kids. Colin and I were there for like 10 days. So we went to a place called the Blue Apron. And you, you can take cooking classes there, and so they taught us how to make pad thai, but of course it wasn't vegan. It had like shrimp and fish sauce. So today I decided I was gonna try and recreate it and make it vegan, and um, see if it tastes just as amazing as it tasted then. I think that, so Ebony's gonna be working on all of the vegetables that we need, and she's already started. For the pad thai noodles, you need, you're gonna need some rice noodles, and I have chosen Annie Chun's Pad Thai rice noodles. And for those of you who are wondering, I've used them before for my kids, but you always have to look and be sure, read ingredients if they're safe for your children. It's just rice flour and water. And what I found is you don't want to overcook them because they will fall apart. So I have the water boiling here, and I'm going to put them in, and I'm going to probably let them cook for, I'm following the directions on the box. <laughs> And how much garlic did you do? I think you had how many? Just one? So I had, I had two, two cloves of okay. garlic, and I had one huge carrot, and we're hoping to get about maybe a half a cup of carrots out of this. If you like more carrots, you can add that to it as I'm not well. going all the way down because I always cut my thumb when I do We this. certainly don't want so you to do that. So I usually have a glove, but today I don't, so I'm going to be very extra careful. Yes! So traditional Pad Thai recipes, when we did the, the cooking class, Ev, they use stuff that we can't eat. They use fish sauce, they use eggs, they use shrimp and chicken. Oh, all things that will kill us. And then they still added tofu to it. That was it was a lot of stuff, a lot of protein in it. Do we have tofu today? Um, I, I just skipped it since we're gonna have this uh, okay, chicken, okay. the sticky chicken that's enough protein to me, and you know, vegetables have protein as well. So I'm gonna put this in the pot while my water is boiling. My noodles. I'm not gonna let them get all the way, like super, super, cause remember, we're gonna stir fry them basically after this, so I'm gonna boil them for a few minutes, probably like five minutes until they're like tender, and then I'm gonna stop the water, drain it, and I'm gonna stop the cooking process by putting some cold water on it. But Ebony I have an onion. onion. Let's just do about half of that red onion. Ooh, those carrots look so good. And Emily just informed me she don't like bean sprouts. Are you sure? I don't like those, but you can put them in and I will pick them out like a little kid. I don't have a problem doing that. Really? Oh I my don't gosh. Like the taste of them. So we won't, well, we'll just omit them. Then. No, we won't put you them. can put them in there. All right. Mix with the recipe, so I'm down with it. Okay, okay. what we're going to do is make the sauce because the whole thing is it's really stir fry with some noodles and some sauce. Right, so, so I'm going to get the ingredients that I have. So, you want to put this sauce together for us, Ebony? No. 
No, she says. I don't know. So I got some concentrated cooking tamarind, tamarind, and I'm gonna use about one fourth a cup of this. Okay. Oh boy. What does it smell like? It's kind of stinky. Is it supposed to be sweet? Because I think I've had that. No, it has actually like a little tangy flavor to I it. Is that a fruit, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Those little balls? Yes. Oh, those are delicious. They I are. Look those. like they're sweet. The Caribbean mm -hmm. teachers at my school always bring those for me. I love it. I put like one. Wow. So is it really sweet? This will make it sweet. Okay. This is just like sugar. Okay. Two. I'm going to put three tablespoons. I know Ebony probably likes it sweet. No. All right, and then we gonna we got we got the sweet, the sour. You're just trying to get the perfect kind of combination of yeah. tastes together. Sriracha. Sriracha. This is hot. And out of the measure. Do you like spicy? They do a little bit. Stinger likes spicy, and so does Skip. I, on the other hand, I just I stay away from the spice. That's good, huh? Yeah. All right. One of my co-workers always says when I'm on my IG, when I'm tasting food, I'm always going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think we're ready to roll now. Let's go. I'm going to yeah, put in my onions so and my carrots. And I'm going to put in, Ebony doesn't like these, so I'm not going to put them in. I said to use them. I'm, I'm, I'm taking one for the team. Put them in there. I'm going to put in like a handful of Brussels sprouts. I mean, not Brussels sprouts, bean sprouts, just for Ebony. Oh. <laughs> Did you just say you hate them? Oh, no, no. All right. Okay, so now I'm gonna put in the onion. And I, I wish, man, I got there and walked out of the cooking class without the recipe. I was so bummed. Dodo, dodo status. Dodo status, for sure. That's all right, though. And guys, on Hopefully I don't have this too high. Hang on a second. This is gonna go so quick. You wanna have some lime? Do you have lime? I do have some lime. There should be like a smell button that they can just press it. I wish stuff. you could smell it because it already smells good, right? Right. <laughs> All right. So for Ebony's sake, I only put a little bit of these Brussels sprouts. Uh, I'm going sprouts. to eat the Brussels sprouts. Heather. They're not Brussels sprouts. They're what are they? Sprouts. I mean, they're bean sprouts. And they taste so good. Yep, yeah, don't like it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> she hates it. All right, I'm going to get some onion you know, powder and garlic powder. It isn't too bad. Exactly. See that? Green oh, eggs and it's the aftertaste. It's the aftertaste. That's the aftertaste. I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah. But now we're just gonna skip straight to the noodles. And that's really already pretty. It is. That's very good. And remember, we're making this for people who have allergies to peanuts. They would have had you putting peanuts in this. Did you put the sauce in yet? I'm about to make it saucy. I think I can make this at home, Heather. I need new recipes and I. Do your recipes. I look at them. I say, I'm gonna make that. Have I made them? No. Everybody Not keeps yet. telling me that that they want to make them. I want to. I just have to find time. Now that it's summer, and I am going to go through the videos, and I'm going to choose my favorite ones, Thank which are all you. of them, and I am going to make a new dish every third night. Yes. I think Skip and, and Stinger would really love it. They would. They would love it. And uh, anything with noodles, yeah, I so. love. And rice noodles, I really hate no rice noodles, but those taste yeah. pretty good. All right, we gotta catch up with the rest of the food because so wait, this what, is gonna be done. So what's on the do right here? Mmm. Tastes like a dance. Come on, come on, give me some. Mm. He just wants me to burn myself. Right. That's good, right? Go to your local um. Go to your local Chinese grocery store and you can find this. So what I'm gonna do? So is if this was if this was not palm sugar, what could I use instead of that? You Nothing? can no, you can use sugar, brown just, sugar, or white sugar. But you but this says coconut syrup. You you will find that in, in the regular grocery store. No, no, I found it. You might. I don't know. It just depends on how diverse where you live is. I was and needed something green. 
So pretty. It did thicken up a little bit. All right, so because I only have one lock, I'm gonna get this out of here. And guys, you wanna put some lime on it. If remember, if you wanna put tofu, add tofu. Yeah, I think tofu would make it really, really good. Yummy, easy, delicious. Can't go wrong. You can impress your family like, hey. Yeah, it would look great on the table. All right, watch this out for you. Dinner is going to be on the table in about how many minutes, Evan? I might say 20. Hey guys, while you're listening and our dinner is almost over, um, I want you to go follow my sister. She dresses really cute every day. And if you are a teacher or just a business person who still wants to look fashionable every day, she does this thing called T-shirt Tuesdays. I do do T-shirt Tuesdays, and I got that from one of my other teachers, Mr. Daly. He's a young teacher. He just graduated, and he just got his master's. So he's woo, woo, he's fresher than I am. So I try to stick with the young folks. Hey, I ain't um, mad at it. And T-shirts. I need some new ones. This chicken is looking delicious. All right, right, I think we're ready. I'm gonna get some more bowls and Ev, we've done it. We have made a meal and I am so happy because I am on Chef Mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is making me feel so I am, I've been watching all of my friends come on Chef Mama. I'm like, yeah. what am I going to make a Chef Mama? And my kids are like, Miss Helen, when are you ever gonna be on Chef Mama? And hey, here I am. Here she Shout is. out to my one student, this is Kenton Mitchell. He watches you all the time, and he actually makes your recipes. So does he really? Yes, and I do a kale salad every day, and he has started making kale salad. His father pulled me to the side. I should turn it off. And he said, "Thank you so much for choosing healthy meals during lunchtime. My son only wants to come home and make healthy meals, and he has made his own kale salad. So shout out to Kenton Mitchell. Thank you so much. Always eat healthy. It's good for you. Good for your bones. Makes you strong. Makes you smart. <laughs> all right." <laughs> Yes, I want to thank Ebony for being here with me today and always. She is my sister. I don't know what I would do without you, Ed. Oh. I love her to pieces, really, seriously, literally. Um, all right, so that's it. I just want to remind you, our kids have food allergies. And, um, you know, it's, it's not easy all the time. It really is. Sometimes it's stressful. But when you have people and family, and, and this is why I do this, so that People can feel supported and loved no matter what your challenge is, whether it's food, whether it's not a food allergy, because some of this stuff is just really, I think everything we make is delicious, but I could be biased. You have to try it and tell me. So, um, I want you to know you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Uh, Philippians 4.13, I have that on my knee. Yes! I need one of those. I have it. That's what her necklace says. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Be reminded of that, that God is with you. You are not alone. Anything that you want to accomplish, put him first and he will be right by your side. Not just a cliche, right? It's not. But you have to subscribe to her channel. Subscribe. Yes! Look Do it right, right now! now. Subscribe. You have to tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, all the people, your dog. Tell them all. Subscribe to the Chef Mommy. Yes. All right. All right. We're going to eat this food. Maybe we'll show you guys a little bit of it plated. Yes. But um, hopefully you enjoyed this one and make sure you make it too. And if you do, let me know. Remember, the recipe is going to be in the comments until I get a website. I know. It stinks. And check my um, Instagram page. Follow me there. And tell somebody else you know about the Chef Mommy. Until <laughs> next time, this girl is about to choke herself. She's choking herself. <laughs> Peace out. All right. It gets busy up in here when it's dinner time. What's missing? Really informal type. Yes, yes. I'll take some. I'll take some. Yes, I'll release some. How about just smash my plate? Yes, pad thai. That's it. Oh, it is. It's called pad thai. Pad thai. Uh, Evan is serving everybody. Bye, bye. I'm only serving my own. Oh, she was making her own plate. Oh, she's serving my own plate.